Lola friends, Deborah Driver here. We're back again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It has been a while. A very long while. Uh, but I plan on getting this up tonight, which is Wednesday. And we're going to have a good time with it. Um, so what we're looking at is a Kingdra deck. Um, but I do have a couple of Celestial Storm packs that we're going to get open first. We're going to give you guys a code for that as well. I'm not going to say I'm going to open up packs every time I do a... Uh, a uh, deck tech video but for now we're going to start we have three celestial storm we got yesterday and if i do well at a pokemon league tonight which i'm trying to do uh i will show you guys the deck that i used for that as well but without further ado let's go ahead and get started <laughs> All right, so we have our three Celestial Storm packs here today, and we are going to uh, to get started with them. Obviously, we have three. We have the Jirachi pack, the Rayquaza pack, and a Stack Attack Up pack. We're going to go ahead and bust open the Rayquaza first, because we're probably hoping for that mostly, but uh, who knows. Uh, I've ruined it already. See, it's been too long since I've given... Stuff. So here is a uh, Celestial Storm code for you guys. I probably will keep the other two simply because you guys know I'm playing the game. So uh, I do need sometimes I do need the codes myself. I'm not made of money. And as you guys have seen from the lack of uploads that I'm very, very broke right now. So, you know, whatever we can use, we can use. We're going to guess at a Lightning Energy. It is not. It is a, a Psychic Energy. So let's hope that I can actually get this focused there we go it's a psychic energy we're going to start things off with slaw kit with that claw off and of course slacking off shove it swinging through with that headbutt and that will of whips a trico ready to ready to rumble there poison payback uh cacnea we got a, a mudkip not the one we're probably going to use in these mudkip decks but you know mudkip nonetheless yeah, the 60 HP one with Water Reserve. You know, it does give you three Water Energy cards if you guys are really low on that. We have the Sky Pillar, which is the opposite of um, Shrine. We have Torkoal, which I did see someone finally get to use that Flaming Hawk Honk uh, attack recently. Um, you guys, I will say shout out to PK Light over there if you guys want to check out him. I don't have his uh, in the description or anything, but just search PK Light and you'll see an Incineroar. Uh, Incineroar, no. Is it Incineroar? No, it's not Incineroar. It's, wow, Infernape. Infernape mascot of, in his thing. So we have a reverse rare in Exploud, and our rare is something green. It's a Metacham. So nothing too phenomenal out of that. But go ahead and let me know down in the description what you get with that code. Because that code, you know, <sighs> it's worth pennies, you know. Wow, I'm so terrible at opening up cards these days um energy and my phone's ringing of course my phone would be ringing right now and i can't get to it to block to turn it off oh no technical difficulties galore we're gonna guys so there it is a dark energy wow wow the moment you hit record guys the moment the moment you hit record, you know, there's a, a phone at the door, you know, is basically that the moral of the story there. We do have a dark energy. Those don't really focus very well. We do have a slugma with that magma ring. Beldum, single smash, Larvitar with the leer, a lovely little Pokemon. Uh, Whalmer with that wave swallower. This is the fat one. Bellsprout, those are so strong. A rainbow energy, that's kind of nice looking. Nuzleaf. That is clearing the room, because he clearly just farted. Uh, Gorbis with a deflecting splash. Reverse is a Spoink, and our rare is a Regirock, which is not terrible. It's a good tech card for certain matches of <coughs> Zorark. Um, so you never know. If you are playing a Rainbow or Fighting Energy, you know, Regirock could be your savior for the Zorark matchup. So one last pack. One, two... Three energy, we'll guess an electric energy. I don't think we've been really guessing them, but you know they are, they are. It's a water energy. And hey, Bagon Luck. Let's see if we can get some Bagon Luck with the Rockhead Bagon. Wismer with that whale. 
Trico chilling by the tree because he's just sleeping, you know. Another Trico with the smack and tail whap. Wizmer, which is balling. It's balling because it's running away from the beware because you got to beware of those bewares. A friend ball to get your Tapu Lele's out. Rare candy, lovely card. Matang for those metagrosses. A reverse foil, flaming honk of the Torkoal variety and a rare blaziken there we go there's a pull for us a blaziken gx so as you can see i still got to work on my lighting i got to do a little more work on this stuff but that leads right into uh after we play kingdra i can i can tell you guys what i will show my next deck tech uh, i will hopefully do it friday which is a zorak blaziken shrine deck so leads right into it wow wonderful wonderful um, and I think I'll pick all this up later. That's that's useful that I get another rare candy there, though. So there we go. That's what we're gonna be playing later. But first, let's go back to the Kingdra list here. So we will export this and put it down in the description, guys. Just so you know, it is there. Um, but to start off this list, we of course start with a couple top of Lele's because you know Lele just generally generally raises your ability to find exactly what you're looking for uh we got a beacon vulpix the most adorable card ever made right there sorry i didn't realize my camera was so weird uh, which way do i need to move this way okay uh we have one of these beacon ones because so it's uh we can find and search out those uh stage twos and stage ones horsey which lead, which we chose the Burning Shadows one because Water Area was just a little easier to attack with than the um, Hydro Pump. Plus it has 10 more HP. Splatter has even less HP. So we just decided, you know what, this Horsey has 60 HP. It's just going to be a little bit better for us. We can do that 10 damage anywhere we want when we need to. And I think that leads right into the second one which is we play three of sorry for the shaking i just it's a laptop guys which we do play the hydro pump cedra i think we decided that just because 80 versus 90 hp you know if you played level ball you'd probably play a little bit of both but um and a water arrow 30 snipes not bad but we're trying to set up this hydro pump at this point so Actually, I think this one is technically better attack-wise, but we're just going with that extra 10 HP because it can help us out. And I mean, we would play this Kingdra. It actually might be better than the Kingdra GX, but considering Kingdra GX is the new guy, we're going to go with the new guy. So, with that, we have Brine, Tornado Shot, uh, which actually we're not utilizing. Sorry, we're utilizing this one. Hydro Pump for 10, plus 50 for each water energy attached to him. Reverse Thrust does 30 and goes back to the bench. And Maelstrom spreads 30 everywhere. Yes, to each of your Pokemon opponent's Pokemon, it does 30, 40 damage. Sorry, 40 damage, which makes it kind of fun. And that is our Kingdra line. Sorry, let's go back because we have Mudkips to show off. We were playing a 2-2 line of Mudkips Swampert for that power draw. This also allows us to utilize... Um, super boost energy because we will have stage threes out stage three stage three stage twos out relatively often with the swampert line we have three aqua patches to get our water energies back from the discard pile which is super helpful when powering up the next kingdra field blower to get rid of those shrines mostly but um also you know if there's a a pesky uh choice band that's just causing you some issues you can totally get rid of that as well so we have uh we have one field blower for that. For nest balls, pretty standard. For ultra balls, pretty standard. For rare candies, pretty standard for decks like this. One switch buoy, because we are playing water types. So why not switch buoy it up and get a free retreat in there? One apricorn maker. Kind of wish it could be more after playing that Charizard deck last week. Um, really feels like apricorn maker is a really good supporter to just... It's, a, it's an alternative to just drawing a bunch of cards. You can kind of pick out the specific cards you need out of your deck and find exactly what you're looking for. Uh, for Cynthia, pretty standard. Three Guzmas. Wish it could be four, but I think we just don't have space. 
Um, one judge because you have to disrupt your opponent at least a little bit to get ahead in this game. One Lily, I think that's the alternative to Apricorn Maker. You search for one or the other depending on your situation first turn um, with the Lele's. Uh, two Titan Lizes because sometimes you just need to switch. Um, or in cases like, uh, yeah, so if we reverse thrust, uh, to get out of there to protect ourselves for a turn, we can Titan Liza back into the act of the following turn and start hitting again. Um, it's kind of things like that. Um, it's to set up two hits and whatnot like that. Um, three choice bands because we just need a little bit more numbers. If you have three water energies on the Kingdra, it hits um, 160. So if you have a choice band, you hit 190. And that's a lot of the big basics in the format are 190. So that's what you try to hit. And then 10 water energies and one super boost to finish it off. Um, with that, let's go ahead. This is called Kingdra Swamp. Has all these uh, water types in it. Makes you wonder why I'm not playing Brooklet Hill, but it is what it is. We don't really need Brooklet Hill. It sets up pretty quickly with just the nest balls. I don't know why I resaved it. I resaved it after saving it after saving it. So. It's saved. It's saved. With that, let's go to the ladder. I think we're going to try to get three games in today, but we will see. So it's by Grrr, Chomp, and Naga Trees. Okay. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should just take this into an event. Oh, wait. I can't. It's not enough time. I don't have enough time in the day, guys. Sorry. So I'm trying to get this video down to like 20 minutes because I got I got some other things to do. So you can see I was playing with Balsing Zorark right there. Uh, King Jr. Swamp right next to Grrr, Chomp, Swampert. So... And I would show you Gurchomp Swamper, but Lucario Garchomp's just better, to be perfectly honest, because Lucario's a stage one. It's just better. You can trust me on that. Wikey 1236. So hopefully we can get at least two games in in the time frame that I need. No basics! No basics, and hopefully the, uh, the game doesn't decide like, oh hey, I don't want to let you draw today. Today I see you want to draw. I don't know if I want to let you do that. But we will be fine. I'm sure of it. Uh, looks like we are starting with... We'll start with the horsey. Since we play more of them. We play more horsey than, uh, than mudkips. So we'll start with the horsey. Plus it can water arrow us if we're going second I believe. We are facing fire too, right? No, we're just facing slugma. It was like weakness damage. No, it looks like a sil. The only time I've seen Magirna is in Sil Valley decks, but I could be incorrect in that thinking. I don't know what else plays Magirna. Change clothes. Order pad nest ball. That doesn't sound like a great start. Yeah. Order pad. Tails. Our order pad for a nest ball does not sound like a, a start anybody wants. Uh, does it tell me what they were playing at least? It does. Sil Valley. I was right. Nice. It's good to know when you know, you know. Sil Valley just aggro Sil Valley. That's what it was playing. Did it? Did they just have like no type nulls? Because they had a Slugma, but maybe they were looking for their other Slugma, or their two Orangaroos reprise, maybe? I don't know. Let's take this back to the ladder. I don't want to waste any time here looking at someone else's uh, deck that's not working. That just sucks, though. That just sucks. A win streak of two. We're playing Evans. I thought it said Ekans. Ekans. Three. <laughs> but it's Evans. We're playing metal, uh, which I don't think is a problem. But let's go ahead and start with this beacon monster here. Beacon Mon, the most adorable card ever created, just so you guys know. Most adorable card ever created is the Lola Vulpix. This one specifically. This one specifically is the most adorable one ever. Steven's Resolve, I need to get my hand on some of those. I got one IRL. But only one IRL. 
Would you like to draw a card? Yes, I would. Another horsey, sure. Let me get Nest Ball for the Muds, the Kips, and actually, I feel like I want to Ultra Ball the Nest Ball and the Choice Band to get a turn one Lily, maybe. Maybe. The setup looks bad, though. We need another draw supporter, and we need um. I don't know, maybe, maybe top deck. Maybe top deck will save us. Maybe top deck will, will let me have something easier to discard so I can nest ball and Lily. Because that would be preferable. Throwing away a holla. Full art holla looks great. Just gotta use your GX first turn. So we get just Maelstrom to start off the game. It's possible. Cynthia. So, I mean, it does make it easier. We don't have to necessarily... We could probably just nest ball and Cynthia here now. Make sure I get a Mudkip out. I'll go ahead... I don't want to draw it again, that's the problem. We'll throw it down. And then we'll Cynthia. I'm going to save that Ultra Ball for later. Wow, look at that. Fully set up bench. Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to get out the Lele. I think I just get out this guy, because I do have two, right? I have two. Um, yeah, I guess I have to do that one. The other horsey's here. Question is, the other horsey or not the other horsey? Could toss a water energy for an aqua patch while I get a double, um, double Seedra. We'll just set up slowly. We'll get a double seizure right here. I'm okay with that. We'll see what they happens. I think they're gonna probably Steven's Resolve though. If they didn't Steven's Resolve last turn. They didn't Steven Resolve last turn. They uh Lilied. They're gonna Steven's Resolve this turn. Okay. So that means what we really wanna do is find that judge. Which is probably a good reason why we left that last spot open, because we can probably uh, Ultra Ball for the Lele for a Judge. Which would be very worth it right now. Let's go ahead and double evolve here. Want to use this though? Um, we're going to have to do this though. Just because we don't want them to get set up before we do, and they, it looks like they have an advantage there. But, uh, just keep them one turn behind here. And I'm hoping I can get a rare candy, uh, one of our stage twos right now. Go ahead and judge. That's what the one judge is for, right there. Uh, forget this guy. And we can get Kingdra out next turn. So, not exactly what we were looking for. But we can beacon for two Kingdras here. And see what they do about it. They might judge us back because we <laughs> got rid of their, uh, their perfect Stevens. Oh, they get the rare candy Metagross off those four cards. Yikes, 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 yikes. Rare Candy Metagross off the four cards, and it's just gonna blow... It's gonna blow that Vulpix away. Wow, perfect hand, perfect hand. And to a double Rare Candy, oh my god. I would say... I, I'll say well played, even though I really think it's just like, you lucky bum. <laughs> I'll say... Well played, but it's just really you lucky bum. He didn't have that with the Steven's Resolve. He might have had, you know, Rare Candy Sogaleo. But not Rare Candy Sogaleo and Rare Candy Metagross. Like, that's just ridiculous. But it looks like I can clap back here. Looks like I can clap back here. That's an interesting, like... 
Let's see what I can get. If I can get a super boost, that is awesome. I get another rare candy. That's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. Um, I could Maelstrom. I could Reverse Thrust, but I can only do 110, 140 with that. We'll go ahead and attach this. I actually feel like I'm going to Tate and Eliza. If I have enough... If I have four, I can beat him, so... We're gonna try for it. We're gonna see if we can get that, that super boost. Granted, I'm not even sure if it's in the deck right now. Aqua Patch? It's not exactly what we're looking for. We'll save that for next turn. Um, all I can think to do is Reverse Thrust Aqua Patch. That doesn't feel good, though. I know I gotta go for the one shot on these. Um, let's aqua patch the other one, I guess. Since I don't have another, I don't have any psychic energy, so I can't topo here. I'm gonna have to maelstrom here. But the question is, do I want to do it now or later? Do it later. So I can hit him for 60 and retreat, or I can hit him for uh, 90 and stay in. I guess I'm gonna hit him for 90 and stay in, which I don't like because I know he's just going to retreat. He's just gonna retreat and um, heal up. But hitting him for 90, if he does not heal up, we only have to hit him for 160 the following turn rather than 250. So see, yeah, I, I kind of lost an energy there by doing it that way. I would have, uh, I would have been able to hit him for 140 if I would have just, you know, put the. If I would have just put the. Um, the energy on the active Kingdra, I would hit him for 50 more damage. But trying to be greedy and find the super boost energy, which I'm not even sure if is in the deck because I didn't check, uh, but is but it's bad. Plus, since I had a I had a, an ability to check. A max potion on the Metagross, which is fine, because he doesn't have the. He has the three energies in there, so he can bring one back, but he can't bring back all three. But he can Ultra Road into that and hit me for 60. And he's trying to go for this one's one-hit KO with the Sun Steel Strike. I think that is his, his game in this one anyways. Another Water Energy. So should I still try for the Super Boost? Because I only need... Do I need this for anything? He one-shots me anyways. To be perfectly honest. Um... Because I could use this if I get another horsey. I'm gonna need the other rare candy. Yeah, we'll throw away the field blower. For the super boost. There we go. Um, and now I can actually... I can probably Guzma out the Metagross or the Sogaleo. Turns into more of a Metagross deck if I take out the Sogaleo. And I don't think they have the one shot potential. So let's grab the Guzma here. And take out the Sogaleo, I think. Although, because he can get another Metagross up on the line. See, that's the problem. I'm like not sure if it's like, if he has another Metagross. Ah, damn it. I misclicked terribly. Crap. Crap. Completely just misclicked. Dang it. Completely just misclicked. 
I don't know what was up with that. That was... I was debating. Ugh. Um, I could get another, uh... No, I'm not gonna do that. That's a terrible misclick. Absolutely terrible misclick. That was an absolute terrible misclick. I don't know how to say I freaking misclicked. Oh well, I deserve to lose this game then. Yeah, I thought I needed to take out the Sogaleo for this exact reasoning right here. But it's okay, next turn I can get a Swamp Rip up. I can still use the Super Boost Energy and take it out. And it'll no longer be an issue for me. Yeah, 270 is what it hit me for just there. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. I'm like, is there a way to take out the Minigos? No, not really. So, do I have to throw away the horsey? I feel like I need to power draw first here and see what I pull out. Because I want to keep the horsey. I hate when that's the case. Every card in your hand is useful. Switch Bowie. At least now I can throw away the Switch Bowie and a Cynthia. Can get the other Swampert out. Throw this down. Throw that down. And super boost. And I'll save that because these are all very useful cards. And hydro pump for 290 damage. Alright, maybe I overshot it a little bit, but I don't think he has a, a one hit back. That's a, that's the plus side here, is he does not have a one hit KO back on me by me taking out the Sogaleo. Which is what I meant to do last turn. And next turn, if uh, we can possibly, if we top deck a Guzma, we can go after another the Metagross, and then kind of just run him out of resources here. This does seem like sad boy music today. It only has a minute left. I'll let it. I'll let it finish out. I'll let it finish out. But it's kind of a weird song. <laughs> it's like a picture of the guy going. <gasps> <laughs> All right, Evans. What do you decide to do after I made that giant misplay of taking out your Beldum instead of your Sogaleo? Really? No freaking way. Undeserved. Undeserved. Follow. <laughs> Okay, okay, so let's get back to it. Somehow we squeaked by on that one. Speaking of squeak, go check out squeaksgwe.com for some awesome Pokemon content. You'll get price updates. You'll get, um, what are they called? You'll get uh, clips from everybody that's in the squeak squad. You'll get... Um, Oh, there's there's light. Light. There's light. Okay. So let's play another one here on the ladder. See what we do. Um, but there's several people in the Squeak Squad. So go check out squeaksgwe.com for some awesome uh, content. There's articles. There's um, stream schedules for a bunch of people that stream PTCGO on Twitch. And um, all that jazz. We won, we would like to go first because we are greedy. Um, starting off with the little uh, seahorse here. The little horsey. I'm gonna put this back. Oh yes, I'm done after that. Lele can stay in my hand. I would like to keep Lele in my hand. 
put my deck away. I want to make sure I actually take it with me today. So I'm going to put it back in my backpack. So I, I know it's going to go with me. Mulligans, we're playing against Venusaur Lorantis, my favorite. Wait, am I weak to grass? I'm weak to grass. Uh-oh. So this is going to be one-sided, guys. But we can show off the power of Venusaur Lorantis and how easily you can take out something that has weakness uh, from it. I don't think I'm beating this deck, and I, this is definitely not a meta matchup, so... Uh, yes, I will happily take two more cards to start off with. Yes, we will put that horsey down. Nest ball for a, uh, a mudkip. Yes. Genesect up front. Throw down the mudkip. Uh, we could Ultra Ball for something else and then Lily. That might be nice. Uh, I feel like throwing one energy down might be good though. No, I'll get more. I will get more. Uh, question is third horsey or second mudkip? I think we're going to go with the second mudkip. Oh, we could go with the beacon too. We might want to go with beacon. Just as a backup in case our horsey goes down. Maybe the beacon is a good idea. And then we can Lele for Lily. Just so we have a better turn one. Because we don't need any other uh, any other starting cards. So we don't need Apricorn Maker just yet. Could probably use him next turn. If we Lily for him. Rare Candy Swamper. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and get out a third third little horse though I think well actually it's always let me rephrase that it's always more useful to get out the swampers because they can attack right away and with that I think we'll stop there I don't foresee them being able to throw throw down turn one hopefully so we're gonna go ahead and let this this horsey stay out here for now um, if we need to, we will treat it next turn into Vulpix and just grab what we need. Uh, they're going to Wishful Baton, keep their energies in play, and go ahead and Lily for four cards. Getting a Grass Energy down, but have no Bulbasaurs in play. So we might be better at getting started here. Um, we have a pretty good... Uh, setup engine I think and only one Bulbasaur now we know Bulbasaur is the thing to watch out for let's make sure we get the Swamper up and running here um can throw this down here and we're definitely gonna use Cynthia over Tate and Liza so let's power draw Tate and Liza here. For the broken hand. Rare Candy Kingdra, turn two. Go ahead and uh, Cynthia here. The Switch Buoy, Nest Ball. We can get an AW. We can get another. Um... Oh, we got both of our things up. Never mind. Looks like we can get another uh, thing, but we can't actually. Let's go ahead and field blower that thing. And I don't know what to do here. What do I do? Do I just hydro pump for 70 probably? For two shot in it? Unfortunately, we do not have any other cards. Um, I think we're going to reverse thrust actually. Let's throw out the. This is a Vulpix here. So we'll weaken it up, get the Vulpix out, and then we can probably get our other cards. So they do get the Apricorn Maker, they're going to grab that all oh, double Ultra Ball. Are they going to go for Ivysaur or are they going to, do they have Rare Candy in hand for a straight Venusaur right now? That is the question. We can Guzma out the Venusaur next turn, which is a plus. A lot of their deck does shut down if you take out Venusaur, generally speaking. They get the big boy jungle totem. 
And the problem I foresee with this is that they I don't think they have the retreat option. They don't have a Guzma switch. And if that is their last two cards, wow, you are talented. Do they have the Guzma switch? They do not have the Guzma switch. Which leaves it to us to find the Guzma switch. Um, we have the Guzma, and we have the switch. Uh, the question is, do we go for that? Let's first power draw the Nest Ball. We're definitely not going to use that. And it gives us more cards, so there's no reason gives us a rare candy into another swamper though that's kind of nice does this take out the venusaur though i don't think it does but if it takes out sorry sorry i knocked out the uh the headphones there uh does 110 that'll take out the the shining genesex so we're gonna keep it smooth here and just switch buoy into the Kingdra. Um, I don't think they're going to get two energies out next turn. And we're going to... Uh, you know what? Let's just go for it. We're going to Judge and Cynthia grab the other Swampert here. And Rare Candy Swampert. Just because we can. It's probably better to get it set up rather than not set up. And then we can kind of... We're not going to... Oh, we can play the Cynthia still, actually. It's gonna work conservatively, but I don't think I need to just yet. And we can Aqua Patch onto the Seedra. And, uh... could probably power draw this Water Energy if we really wanted to. But I think we're fine right here, because we take out the Genesect. Next turn, we'll take out the Venusaur. This deck's just, it doesn't run as smoothly without the max elixirs on the Genesect in order to get it set up real fast. Yeah. So you're able to take out that pretty, pretty effectively, I would say. And I'm going to try one more game. Um, but I think that is the limit of this. Um, I have been getting pretty lucky, I'm going to say, on this to be able to get a couple wins in a row. But, uh, you know, this deck runs pretty smoothly, as you guys can see. Um, both of those stage 2 decks, uh, we just kind of outpaced. We got up before they did, and when you get Swampert up, like, it's just, it really works a lot quicker. Um, debating, I'm debating whether or not I really want to try a third match here, because it, it's, I don't really have the time, but I'm making the time, because I know you guys deserve it, um, and I've been away for a long while. But like I said, let me know what you get down in the description below, or down in the comment section below, what you get from that code card. Um, I'd love to know what you guys get, um, and I will definitely let you know what I get on the next one. And if I do well at this League Cup, or if my deck does uh, pretty well, we'll probably get, we'll probably show you guys a Blaziken Zoroark next time. Um, so that's pretty exciting. Look at these horsey starts. I love starting with the little seahorse. Kingdra's awesome. But we're just looking to have some fun here, so why not keep it simple? Another Metagross player. So people are loving the Metagross right now. They're like, it sets up and beats Shrine decks. Why not play it? I think what you'd have to tech into this deck to be able to beat the Shrine players would be a Manaphy from Shining Legends. And not that's not to, you know, one shot of uh, Buzzhole, because it doesn't do that. But it sits on your bench and heals 20 damage from you every turn. So, because of that, you can heal 20 damage off your Kingdra's every time they get hit with Shrine between turns. So, every time it's your turn, you heal 20 damage, that Shrine damage does nothing. And so that would be the way you kind of stall out your opponent. Um, and you might have to play two copies because they'll eventually catch on and Guzma it up to try to take it out. But hopefully in that time, you know, you have you have your, your couple of water energies on your Kingdra and are able to take out that stuff. Yikes, this is a terrible hand. Absolutely terrible. Um, all I can do is this. And how many cards do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't Lily for one. I cannot Lily for one. That's a terrible starting hand. 
This is a little better, um, but we're still not out of the, the water just yet. But we will go ahead and water arrow that. Uh, and just kind of do a slow setup. We'll see who sets up first. Uh, I'll probably, you know, Seedra next turn, Hydro Pump for a little more. Into the active. 20, 40, 50. Hydro Pump for 50. And then, um, you know, Tate and Liza. And just get that slow start. Uh, they're probably going to set up a little faster than me, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, we could get lucky here. If we And if we end up getting the... Uh, the Swampert, and we can change it all around. Ultra Ball. Nice, but we're going to hold off on it. We don't have uh, everything we need, so we're just going to... Nope. That one, please. Nope. <laughs> Not the Switch, but the Shauna, please. There we go. There's something we can use here. And I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to. We have rare candies to cover it. It's a question of pulling them, though. Um, and we do pull something. Uh, yeah, I can't be greedy. I can't be greedy. Hydro pump. I was like, can I be greedy? To be greedy, I would have had to ultra ball away the Lily and the Guzma for a horsey to be able to rare candy horsey next turn, but relying solely on top decks to be able to power draw through the deck. And that just feels bad, man. So we have this Cosmog so close to being knocked out. But if they get a Solgaleo, we are just so far behind. Uh, what would they need? Actually, do they have it? Good, good, good. They have no energies in the discard, which is a, a breath of fresh air. They can get that energy on there, but can they get a third energy? They can't get the third energy. Okay, that's good to know. It's good to know. That means this turn we can probably go with Evolving Kingdra, Ultra Ball, Lele, Judge. And that can be, that'll be wasteful for their uh, GX attack right here. Which is a plus. It's got to play to what they're playing, and they are definitely setting up now. So, like, yeah, all we can do is throw this down. I hate to throw away the two. Oh, do I power draw first? Do I power draw first? I hate to throw away Guzma, but I feel like it's a must here. Uh oh, my battery is getting low. Throw this down with Nest Ball for. Another horsey. No, another mudkip. As long as we have another swampert. We don't have another swampert. Yikes. Uh, I guess another horsey then. Um. Yeah. Uh, that one and... I guess the king tour. We're gonna have a rescue stretch we can get it back with. I'm pretty sure. I think we have one, don't we? Uh-oh. Do we not have Rescue Stretcher? Have I just wasted everything? Am I not going to be able to battle after this one goes down? It's still just way better to take out what they just got in their hands. And I don't even have the judge. That feels bad, man. I'm dumb. Alright, so I'm going to have to forfeit this. I don't really have time to finish it anyways. Might be better too. Um, oh, I think my deck's freezing anyways. Like, everything's going wrong right now. Right now, at this moment, everything's going wrong. The game's freezing. The computer's dying. Um, feels bad. It is basically the gist of it. I threw away the cards I need to win. And I'm just not going to be able to win now. All I can do is like just try to load this guy up. All my all my cards I need are in the uh, prize cards here. 
How much am I hitting for here? 50, 150, 160, 190? 190 is not enough. I'm just gonna say well played. I got kind of... I got kind of screwed by misplaying, not checking my deck at every moment I got a chance to. And that's partially because my computer's dying, so I was just like, uh, trying to move quickly. But I'm pretty sure with that, you know, they just got their... They just got their Sogaleo up. Uh, they're gonna be able to Ultra Road, get as many energies on the board as they want. Uh, got everything they need. Rare Candy, Rare Candy, Rare Candy. You're gonna see Metagross uh, or the Sogaleo is probably just gonna be able to take me out here. Yeah, it should be double Rare Candy into Metagross. Yeah, Max Potion on that one. I assume the rare candy into Sogaleo here? Hala, what? You algorithm, you should have had every card you needed. You must have grabbed like three energies Ultra Ball. That's not what I would have done. I would have rare candied, got the Sogaleo, because Sogaleo one shots this Kingdra. You don't one shot this Kingdra, dude. But that was 200. Um. I gotta get two more energies on him in order to uh, one-shot him. He can hit me for 180 though. Um, and unfortunately I don't have anything with a free retreat. Otherwise I would just use that. To be able to aqua patch. Um, to myself. Uh, let's see, what's the solution here? Cause I can reverse thrust this turn and just get out of here. Um, but I don't know if that's the right choice. We're gonna power draw, get through the water energy. Since we have a way to get it back right away, we're just fine with that. And we pulled another one anyways. Um, what? Okay, I don't know what that meant, but that's fine. Undeserved wins are the best wins! Uh, but yeah, that was another Metagross deck. People are loving playing that. I think they're just testing their setup there. Maybe that's what that was. They're just testing their setup, but they really, I felt like they should have. They would have just steamrolled me had they just grabbed the, uh, grabbed the Sogaleo there. Oh, another one of these. Um, I don't know. These ones are easier, but this one gives you a pack of cards. So I guess I'm going to go for the pack of cards. Speaking of pack of cards... Oh, come on. My battery is running super low. Now it's yelling at me. I get a chest. Four chests. So I'm not far up on the ladder. Okay. Alright. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by today and checking out the Kingdra pack or Kingdra deck here. I'm gonna open up one Celestial Storm, see if we get lucky online, um, like we did IRL. But uh, with that, I will probably leave you guys off here. I wanna thank you again for showing up. I wanna bid you guys a Lola, and I hope to see you guys on more videos in the future. Bye bye.